Hi my loves, what's up and welcome back to my channel. First things first, happy new year. I'm so excited that you guys are joining me for another year of hair content, hair inspo. I'm so grateful. Thank you all so much. So let's jump into this video. So y'all, I am, my hair is damaged. My hair is really, really damaged right now. So I'm on a mission to get it back healthy. These two products that I'm showing you right now are really gonna help strengthen my hair back up. The first product that I showed you was Cream of Nature, Argan Oil, Strength and Shine, Leave-In Conditioner, and then the second was Placenta. If you know, you know. Placenta is a OG in the damage repair game. Um, my mom's a hairstylist, so I've known about this product basically all of my life, but Placenta is so, so, so good in rebuilding your strands, getting your hair back strong and healthy. Um, it's a protein treatment, so really going to be using these two over the next few months just to kind of get my hair to grow back in um, healthy and reduce breakage. You're going to see, I feel like I've been mentioning my hair being a bit damaged in my past couple of natural hair videos, but you can really, really tell in this video. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really know why it's breaking off. I don't know what's going on. I It's this side right here. It's my right side. Um, actually my video flipped when I edit, so it looks like this is my left side, but that's actually my right side, but that's the side that's really, really damaged. Um, you'll be able to see it throughout the video. You can see right here, it's really kind of the middle section around the crown area, around where my part is. I've also noticed that this side is a lot thinner than my left side. Um, if you've watched my previous natural hair videos, then you know I'm dealing with scalp dermatitis. So I don't know if the dermatitis is causing the thinning, which is then causing the breakage. I don't really know, but we got to figure it out because I'm not feeling this. I like full, thick, healthy hair. So we've got to get back to that some kind of way. In addition to the dermatitis, I also think it can be due to me dyeing my hair that maroon color last year um i've noticed ever since then like pieces have like slowly been breaking off um but this right now is probably the worst it's been in the past year so we're gonna figure it out unfortunately y'all probably won't be seeing me do any quick weave or extension videos for a while just so i can kind of give my hair some time a few months to grow back get healthy again um allow for my scalp to breathe because i am still dealing with dandruff flare-ups from the dermatitis i'll insert a picture here and i just need to give the medication that i got from my dermatologist some time to work like truly give it time to work without any extensions in my hair without my scalp not being able to breathe so probably we'll just be doing a bunch of natural hair videos for a while which that's cool because i can give you guys some different inspo some different type of content than what you're used to getting from me so yeah and I've also been doing a lot of research. TikTok is like the new Google now. Um, so I've been Googling a lot about Sebderm on TikTok. And from what I've been seeing, my case isn't the worst. It seems pretty mild. And I'm so thankful for that. But I don't want it to get any worse than this. So I really need to take time away from the extensions and all that stuff to really focus on my hair health. So... Um, also, I do want to mention that I'm going to start using Myel Rosemary Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's very commercialized now, um, but I do need something that's going to just kind of help promote the hair growth process and help thicken up my roots so that my strands can be a lot thicker. So if you guys know of any other really good um, products that's good at promoting hair growth, please be sure to leave them in the comments below.
So here's what we're looking like after pressing our hair out. You can see the damage in the front on this side. The back is really healthy, no problems happening in the back. It's just the front. Um, and like I mentioned, my right side is worse than my left side. Also, as I part my, he my hair here, you can see the thinning. If you look closer to the scalp, you can see my strands are a bit see-through, I would say. Um, and it's really kind of just happening on this one side. So. Not sure what the heck's going on, but we're going to work to figure it out. Um, for the sake of this video and the style, I did add a few tape-ins in the front of my hair because I wanted the front to be full. I didn't want it to be really thin. And I used 24-inch tape-ins. Girl, don't ask me why. That was honestly the only length that I had. So use 24 inch but i had to cut them obviously so you guys are just going to see me install a few tape ins here these tape ins are from my hair collection which will be linked in the description box below so please be sure you are reading through the description box and checking for any links that you're interested in um but yeah you're just going to see me go through add a few tape in pieces and do my best to cut and shape the tape ins now I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, well, if your hair is thinning, should you be applying tape-ins? And the answer is probably no, but for the sake of the video, um, I didn't want to have a super thin bob, <laughs> so, and I honestly did want to leave these tape-ins in just during my normal day-to-day -day outside of filming so I could, you know, get a full bob look, but I just honestly don't think that they're the best for my hair right now. I've honestly never really experienced any damage from tapings, but I just want to give my hair the best chance possible to flourish. So after filming this, um, I did take the tapings out in a few days. So just wanted to let you guys know that.
Okay, but hold on. Can we talk about the way that these tape ends are mimicking literally my natural hair? Like, look how much body these tape ends have. Like, you would have never, had you just seen me in the grocery store, on the street, walking, you would have thought this was my real hair. Like, tape ends at where? You would have never thought that I had in tape ends. These are literally the most flawless blend I have ever seen, okay? Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and finish the other side off camera for the sake of time. But this is how it all turned out in the end once I installed tape ends on both sides. Really thick, full, looks like my natural hair. Loving the results. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and curl our hair, give our bob some waves. I saw Kayla Cake, I think that's how you pronounce her last name, um, do this in a video on TikTok, and it was so super cute, wanted to try it for my video. I'm using a T3, I don't know what size this is, but I will link it in the description box below. I'm using a T3 curler to create the waves. So from my back, I'm gonna do a curl, but once I get towards the longer pieces, I'm gonna kinda like do a first initial curl, and then when I get towards the end, I'm gonna pull the curl and iron like down. And that's gonna help create like the wave instead of like full blown curls. So now we're gonna take our rat tail comb and comb through our curls and that's just gonna help give them a messier look. Okay, now she was cute, but my ends were a little bit too flipped outwards for me. So I just went back in and um, gave my ends a little bit more of a bump, a little bit more of a curl so that it could be not as flipped as it was before. And honestly, this made all the difference. Came out super, super, super cute. So happy with the results. So that's what we're doing here. This is how it turned out using my T3 curler. Super cute. I feel like this is the most ideal bob length for this type of style. Even longer. Um, I just, I love this length with a good curl, a good wave. It's super cute, super trendy. And yeah. Okay, so y'all, my intention for this video was to give y'all a few different looks to like try with short hair at the end of this video. But honestly, I was so sick. 
while filming this I tried my best to push through but like eventually I was just like you know what I don't have the energy <laughs> to film this I wanted to do like three to four different looks at the end but I honestly only really got out one and this is the one um even this it came out super cute but I didn't even have the energy to like cover up my tape in on the side so this is not a tutorial verbatim. This is more of just to give you an idea of different ways. See, you can see my taping right there. I ain't even have the energy to cover it up. I didn't care at this point. I just wanted to be done filming. But this is just to give you an idea of different styles that you can try with short hair. It's not a tutorial to follow verbatim. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for all of the love and support you've ever shown on my channel and my content thank you for joining me for another year in 2024 if you have not subscribed to my channel just yet please pause this video and go subscribe i've been doing youtube way too long to not be at 100k subscribers by now now i know i'm not the most consistent youtuber but i'm still working to give you guys good hair inspo good hair content so if you could go subscribe i would really really appreciate it thank you for all the comments thank you for all the likes you guys have no idea how much i really appreciate it so thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye